Ciao ragazzi. Let's see Heavy Land. Hey guys. How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> We made it. Yeah, I don't know why. It's the second time. Even yesterday, I was trying to actually, you know, uh, connect uh, with a friend of mine uh, and it didn't work. I don't know why. Uh, am I going to? I don't know. I, I, I have the, the latest uh, update of Instagram and uh, I don't know. You look This good. You look good too. How are you? That's the same. I'm good. I'm good. I'm locked in my home. Um, it's been uh, 13 days right now because I, I started uh, actually five days before. Because actually I met a person that was tested positive after, uh, you know, uh, like a week before that this all started. So I decided yeah. to put myself in quarantine. But, you know, now it's been um, uh, 17 days. Uh, And, and uh, since he knew that he was positive, so uh, I'm clear, you know, I'm, I'm good to go. It's normally it's like uh, 10, 12 days, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a very absurd situation, you know. Yeah. We cannot go out. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely, it's crazy, it's crazy. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we don't know what to expect because actually I don't think it's going to end soon i think it's going to last at least another couple of months that's my idea uh, what are you guys hearing because i mean um i would imagine most people who are watching you are kind of all over the world but in america i mean our president just pretty much today started taking it seriously i know i mean If anybody follows me, they know I'm very progressive. So <laughs> I'm definitely not a Trump fan. Um, but, you know, literally just today he was like, oh, I guess this is something I should pay attention to. Um, so, I mean, but what are you guys over there? Like your news meet, like your, your news there are people, I mean, what are you guys hearing? So we uh, personally, uh, so we are locked at home. Uh, the government uh, decided a week ago that uh, we had to, you know, uh, stay at home as much as possible. We can only go out if it's for work or for medical reasons. And uh, if you have a dog or if you need to, get, to buy some groceries, But you need to communicate it before. So you need to have a document that's, that proved that you actually have that necessity. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's a serious situation. We started with um, more or less uh, 5,000 people positive a week ago. Now we have 32,000 people positive. The thing is wow. that they say, yeah, they say it's spreading, like it's, it's growing every day. They said yeah. that for every positive person that they know, there are at least five to 10 people that are not tested and they don't know that like they are positive, but they're not aware that they're positive. So they can be yeah. highly infected to other people. Um, yeah, and so the problem here is that we don't have, you know, what they're saying is we don't have enough tests. So even yeah. if people might feel sick or something, you know, they're not, I mean, We have the numbers that say who has it, but who even really knows because a lot of people will not go get tested because there, yeah. there aren't even enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, and even the fact that in America, the, the, you know, the public health is not public. It's, it's, it's private. Uh, I, I guess it, it's, it's, it's a bit trickier than here. Um, I've seen videos of, of, friend of, of a friend of mine that was showing me that a lot of people are in a queue to get, you know, stuff from the groceries. And I don't know why toilet paper is missing. Like, you don't have to wash your butt. You need to wash your hands. So I don't know why people are buying toilet papers. But yeah, um, it's, it's a very absurd situation. I actually posted a video this morning about how, you know, the entire world is is changing and the fact that you know me we know each other now a little bit and you know the environment I, i guess that never before we actually started to understand how dependent we are from the environment that surround us so i guess i i hope that at least you know this big threat that we're actually facing from all over the world it is, is it something that will let us understand how important it is to you know respect the environment and respect yeah. uh, 
uh, uh, the things that surround us. Um, I really hope, and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm very sorry from all the people that are suffering out there. Um, the sad, the saddest thing about this, uh, you know, uh, problem is that a lot of old, old women and old men are unfortunately alone in, in a hospital because people, you know, parents cannot, uh, um, friends or, uh, uh, um, you know, the family cannot go to, to see them because uh, they are isolated and you know it's it's extremely sad uh i have a friend that he has a 92 year old dad and is tested positive and now is alone oh, he doesn't man. care it's it's a very it's a sad situation is a is a difficult situation but whatever let's let's talk about how is, the how, is your fa- how is your family my family is good. Uh, they, I, I'm not seeing them. Uh, they are in another um, in another ho- in another home. Uh, I'm alone right now. I'm just with Brownie and uh, a girl that is staying with me. She was the nurse of my grandma when she passed away. I decided to keep her with me because, of course, uh, she really loved my grandma and I think was uh, was a good way to say thank you to her. So she's yeah. still working with me, uh, but they're fine, of course. My father is a doctor, so is is risking right. a little bit more than... Oh, is he he's still working then? Yeah, yeah, he has yeah. to. Yeah. The government actually asked to a lot of doctors to go back to work, even if they're not, uh, even if they were not, because, uh, you know, we don't have, we don't have much, we don't have much people available now. The, we were running out of doctors. I personally asked to go voluntary to help on a hospital, because, you know, I was a dentist before, so I still have the you know, the, the medical thing, I can, I can work. But uh, let's see. What about you? How, how, how are you doing down there? You look good as always, Professor Payne. And uh, <laughs> we had a lot of fun and actually missing you guys. I would love to be on set with you. I know. I, we I had such prefer, a good time. Yeah, I would prefer to be shooting a movie right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's so crazy. I don't know if you remember... Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember actually in the '90s we had um, that movie with Dustin Hoffman uh, called uh, *Lethal Virus*? Do you remember it? I don't remember it, but I feel like there was there was like a period of time. Well, where actually, about yeah. Five years in the '90s and early 2000s, it was like all yeah. these disaster movies. <laughs> it's like, yeah. are we living with that right now? <laughs> yeah, and actually, it's funny because it, 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 on Netflix, those are the most watched right now. I'm like. Are you guys crazy? You already have the, the news and, you know, the reality. Yeah. Just watch something, you know, distract yourself. Yeah. But, yeah, it's crazy because nobody expected. And uh, it looks like we're living in a movie. So I think that we really need to help each other and, uh, you know, be aware and try to respect the fact that, uh, especially us, maybe, you know, the youngers, that uh, this is very can be crucial for those out there who are ill, who needs, you know, mm-hmm. special care. And so I really hope that also in America, they decided to put everybody in quarantine and, you know, at least for a couple of weeks, three weeks and say, you know, just don't go out. Um, yeah. 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 It's great. Know, um, for us, I, I live here in LA um, and I'm with my wife is here and my mother. Lives Say hi to her. I will. Um, She's probably watching Um, from another another room. (laughs) Um, And my mom mom is our neighbor, which is great because, um, you know, yeah, we're close. close And I feel like, um, you know, there's a balance with all this and kind of keeping up to date with what's going on um, and not panicking, you know, like being prepared but yeah. also trying to stay calm. Cause I think, um, you know, I don't know how you feel about this, but I feel like kind of on a spiritual level that does yeah. make a difference. Like, you know, if yeah. you're freaking out and having anxiety, I mean, it's impossible yeah. to have some anxiety right yeah. now. Um, but you know, I'm aware yeah. of that, too, that it doesn't help. I, you know? I receive a lot of requests, um, uh, from, you know, people out there on Instagram to actually make, you know, videos about relaxation, breathing, meditation. Uh, I did it yesterday morning. I'm going to do it again tomorrow morning at 10 AM. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. I think it's, 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 it's good to switch up the TV, just follow the rules and, you know, try to live 
a life as normal as, as we can. Because of course, you know, being paranoid, being stressed, and, and you know, the fact that we are bombed by all this news and the fact that it's outbreaking, it's growing. At the end of the day, yes, it is. But if we think about that uh, uh, 800,000 people die every day, every year because of pollution, if we think that six millions of kids are dying because of starvation every year, well, those are huge numbers compared to what is happening right now. So this is a real threat. It is something that we have to face. And it's something that actually, you know, uh, really cut uh, the base, the fundamentals of, of our society, which are relationship. But apart from that, uh, the numbers are not that huge. So we don't have to, you know, overstress ourselves because actually there are other things that are more uh, um, scary than this one. People are dying of cancer and a lot of other, a lot of, a huge amount of people are dying of cancer every year. A huge amount of people are dying of heart attacks and strokes every year. So it's good not to, you know, it's good to give everything the right amount of uh, importance. Maybe we want to, you think we can actually uh, answer to some of these questions because I think that people want to want us to talk about, yeah, of course, Gabriel's Inferno or whatever. Guys, yeah. let's, let's, let's ask what, what do you guys want? What do you guys want us to talk about it so we can actually answer some questions? Professor Payne, she's be, she'll be happy to, to tell you how it was to work uh, uh, on set. I can say that she's one of the best actresses that I work with. She's amazing. Of course, she's an amazing person. And, uh, and I love her so much. Um, uh, of course, I love you less than Melanie, but I love you very much too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but uh, yeah it's it's kind of a it's kind of a pity that we didn't work that much together i really wish we had more time well yeah. there's always other films i know we are, we're going to we're going to no yeah. but I, I mean we 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 did you know uh i don't know if you guys know but while you're shooting a movie uh what makes um uh what makes it um special are the fact that you know we work in a certain place and so all the scenes on, of the movie that is in that place are going to be shooted in those days when we are into right. that place so uh it's funny because you are in the office and you see new actors you are in the in, in i don't know in in the, we were in a restaurant and you see other actors and you are and it's cool, and you see other actors. So it's not always the same. And it's so lovely to actually, you know, be out there and be so tired. And, you know, we work hard and, you know, all that hours a day, that stress, because we know that you guys are, uh, we want to give you the best possible performance uh, because you guys have watched, the, have, have read the book, and you are so in love with the characters like we did that it's a big responsibility, but it's so good to work with people like Evelyn because, you know, she's, 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 a she's, she just have this light around her. So she arrived that day and she made us smile. All of us, she was playing Professor Payne, of course, and she was so good. But at the same time, I love her so much because she's like, you guys are seeing her right now. She's like a, a mini, um, I don't know, like the sweetest person out there. So, <laughs> A mini. <laughs> a mini something. I don't know. Uh, just uh, a tiny, sweetie uh, uh, girl. And, uh, and um, you know, I, I felt really, really blessed. And I have to say that Amoroncelli, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> I have to say that I was completely, you know, I'm lucky and we were lucky because actually Tosca did a great job putting all of us together. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a lucky set, and I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna see it on on the movie because when that magic happens, when we when we connect so good with the people around us, well, we bring yeah. a bit of life uh, uh, into the character, and and it's just you know it's that magic that happened, and you can feel yeah. it. And well, it's <laughs> also you know I, for for people that aren't that don't do what we do, which is most of the people in the world. 
Um, you know, if you think about it, like we're, we work with so many people on so many different projects all the time. So it's really, um, when we are cast in something, it's, it's a lot of faith that's being put on us by, you know, the director and the producers and everything that we're going to just, that that magic is going to be there. Um, and it doesn't, you know, we sometimes, as I'm, you probably feel this way, sometimes you have actors you're working with that, you know, you're going to do your best, but they're not your favorite people, maybe. They're just not, like, it's not automatically there. You kind of have to work a little harder. But, yeah. Um, but definitely, like, the second I met you and the second I met Melanie, I was like, oh, easy. <laughs> you know, like, it's just you guys. Yeah, I mean, it was just, you're so... <laughs> obviously physically very right for the characters but also just your hearts are very in it and um generous and you know there was really no ego on set like people weren't in there like oh i'm the star and i'm you know what i mean like there wasn't any of that people were just like oh we want this to be you know as good as it can be like what you said you you know like the the fan base for this book series is so die hard and they like love these characters yeah. so much that you know, you just want to be of kind of of service to them, you know. Yeah. You, you you cannot be. I would say that you cannot be a good actor or a great actor. You can be a good actor, but you cannot be a good a great actor if you're not available to the people right. around you. Because at the yeah. end of the day, this is about relationship. It's about filming a relationship between two human beings. And if that exactly. chemistry doesn't happen, yes, you can fake it with technique, but how long you can fake it? You can fake it a little bit, but not in a movie that talk about love, that talk about, you know, relationship, that talks about, you know, being open and being uh, uh, conscious of your mistakes. So right. if you don't do that, it's just not going to work to the point that actually people want it. So I guess that it was the right thing to do. But you know what? I think that I'm just, as you are, I think that I, I like to be myself. I'm very open. Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes I, 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 I paid it. I paid for this, but it doesn't matter. I will continue to, you know, show and put my heart out there because it's just what makes me feel good. So I don't care. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, guys, uh, I think Melanie's here. So I'm El. Yeah. Wait, I is, is it her birthday? Somebody oh, yes. It's, I it's think Melanie's it's today. Birthday? I think it's today. I need a confirmation on that. Is it right now? Yes. Guys, it's Melanie's birthday. Let's see there. Saludes, mi linda. Guys, it's... it's... Yeah, please. I'm so bad with numbers. <laughs> 20 of March. No, 20 of March. No, it's not. Today's the 17th. Good. Woo! We have time. <laughs> yeah. I'm so bad. At <laughs> okay, good. So um, I think she's ghosting us now. She might be on, but she's she? not. Okay. She's like I'm gonna text her. <laughs> I'm gonna text her later. <laughs> I actually text her very often. We have a very special relationship. I have to say that you, her, and a couple of other people are the one that I bonded the most. And um, yeah. yeah was I special love, I love when that happens and it feels like it there's something really special even when you spend a short amount of time making something with people I love when that happens where you just feel like connected like as soon as they started talking about Italy you know with all of this going on like I knew you were there and I just was immediately thinking about you and um you said you had a dream about me like I love that that it's just like we're we're we make something together as as artists, and then we're just in each other's consciousness kind of forever. It's very, um, I don't know. It's just really lovely. I just love that yeah. about what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 you know I was actually looking for forward to go back to set as soon as possible we were actually supposed to go there by the first or second week of june but now i heard that sag has stopped as locked basically as has decided to stop all the production so we don't know when we will be on set again but i hope really really soon so yeah well they are they are right now but i don't i think they've only extended it 
a few weeks at this point. Like I know people I know here in LA who are doing TV shows have all been halted right now. So most, yeah. of, the, most of the shows were supposed to shoot another month. So I think, you know, they've basically been like, well, that's what we got. So, um, but, but yeah, I'm supposed to shoot another movie in like the end of May, but it's, it's like nine weeks from now. So I think we're thinking it should be okay because by that time, you know, hopefully yeah. it'll be okay. But, um, yeah. They ask if the premiere is up because I'm watching. Can you read the questions? Yeah. I, I see the, I see the comments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody said that I look tired. Guys, I am tired. I mean, I've been there, locked. Though. It's late, but I've been locked at home for 14 days now. So, uh, yeah, it's midnight. Yeah, so almost. Have you been able to get food and stuff, or did you just have yeah, enough? Yeah, yeah. Of yeah, yeah, but I just need to go outside for the sun, but on the sun, but I can. So, <laughs> yes, I'm tired. Uh, I would say uh, they also asked if the premiere is still on. So, uh, I, as soon, I mean, as long as we know, yes, of course. Um, let's see in the, in in the future what this is gonna be. But I know that the the, the premiere is still on, and I really hope that it's gonna be, uh, yeah, at the end of May. Um, ciao, see, man, or whatever. You said that I'm tired. Yes, I am very much. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> forgive me. Anyways, um, what 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 are you? What time is there? Is um it's, is it two, three, right? Oh yeah. It's three twenty. So you're is eight hours ahead in Italy, right? Yeah. You're Nine eight hours. Eight hours. No, here it's eleven uh twenty. Yeah, it's three twenty here. Yeah, I I know that it's nine hours. Or oh, whatever. Nine or eight or nine, it doesn't really change. <laughs> <Eight>. <laughs> No, but it's not, no, no, it's now, not. It's not. No, it's not because actually uh, New York is six, and from New York and LA, it's it's three, so it's right. nine hours. It's nine hours. But it's three twenty right now. Nine hours. It might so it might have changed today. It's it might have changed. It's eleven twenty. It might have changed. Maybe today, you know, it changed the time here in Europe. Right forward it's eight it's not eight guys it should be nine but whatever it it's okay it's, then it's eight i don't care julio you're julio you're very pretty you don't need to be that good at math you're so you're, i know you've got a beautiful face just listen just you're 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 the blonde you. one listen you're the blonde one here not me so <laughs> exactly <laughs> Look at these roots, though. I'm not blonde. <laughs> so um, it's eight hours. They say it's eight hours. But I know that it should be actually, it's six from New York. Six in the U.S. Six in New York. And from New York to L.A., it should be three. So whatever. It doesn't right. matter, guys. That's I will right. check it out. <laughs> I will check it out. Uh, yeah. So what are you going to do now? Um, so I do have to, my, so this is where we're trying to quarantine and isolate as much as possible. Um, mm -hmm. but as I was saying before, like my mom lives next door and she is, um, older and such. So I'm trying to like any errands that have to be run or anything, like mm -hmm. I'm basically mm -hmm. not letting her do and I'm doing them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to run and do like a, get her some medications and stuff like that for her. Um, but I mean, we're really trying to limit, like we aren't really going, I have dogs. Come here, boss. You want to be on camera? I'm going to get my, my dog one sec. Come here. He does not like being on camera, but he's so cute. This is one of them. Oh, yeah. it's not a dog. It's not a dog. I know. He's so tiny. He's so Something little. Else. <laughs> he's so little and he's very shy and he doesn't what's like his name camera. boss boss of course yeah. so i have two little dogs so they have to obviously go outside um do you do that with like so with brownie yeah, I... you just you just take them yeah. out okay yeah of course um people are asking where is brownie 
She's sleeping, guys. She's sleeping right now. Yeah. Um, so, but other than that, staying in and um, working on stuff, like... Uh, Do you like sing? Hope... What's up? Do you sing? Yeah. You want to sing something? Yeah, let's sing something. Let's do it. What do you want to what do you want to sing about it? Well, I don't I didn't know you sang. What do you sing? I don't sing. I don't know how to sing, but I can actually try it. <laughs> You're just bullshitting your way through it. <laughs> no, no. I I yeah, let's, let's try. It. Let's do something. I mean, if if I know the song, I can try to uh follow you. Okay, well what what songs or like what artists do you know who are cuz I don't I don't know shit in Italian except for. Except no, let's for do an English. <laughs> let's do an English uh, author. Uh, what What about? Um, I don't know. What do you want to sing? Um, I don't know. Do you guys? You guys know what he's sing, like the things that he's into probably more than me. So shallow. They want. They want to. They want to go uh, shallow with uh, with Lady Gaga and and. Bradley Cooper. Okay. Brownie's go here. Let's go. You got to start. I don't know the words, so I'm going to try to follow you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, technically the boys stop, but that's fine. Oh, hi, Brownie. This what is so cute. Here? It's like Brownie and Boss are on a date right now. <laughs> He's all like, hey, girl, how are you? What's going on? And a shallow, shallow. You're jumping forward. All right. Do you want to start there or you want to start at the beginning? Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling, falling. Yeah. and I'm the good times I found myself logging for change. Well, actually, we should do this with with a proper, you know, music. Oh, really? Are yeah. you gonna get your guitar or something? Yeah, I mean, I can uh, not now, but I have it somewhere. Uh, yeah, we should plan it actually and and do it for real. I'm what do you think? Yeah, you let's do like it. Okay. That? Yeah. Yeah, they would. There's hearts going like this. Hearts. It, hearts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Better than My my wife just sent an emoji of a champagne bottle, so I feel like she wants that too. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so you learn it on your guitar, and then we'll, see yeah. and we'll do it live in a couple days or something. Let's do this. All right. Hey, um, so, babe, I'm going to send you a, a big kiss. Uh, really can't wait to see you again. Say hi to your wife, and uh, please be safe, okay? Just watch right. your... Uh... Thanks, for, thanks for watching, you guys. Ciao, guys. See you soon. Bye. Ciao.